everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at another camera from RNT. I have one that I have out back. They sent me another one. This one is the Go 3G plus SP2. 3 megapixel ultra high definition rechargeable battery camera and solar panel. 4G outdoor pan tilt camera. This one is the 4G. So let's open this up. Let's see what's in it. Then we're going to take it outside and we're going to hang it up and we'll check it out. Inside the box, we have a quick guide. It tells you everything you need to know about using the camera, mounting the camera, uh, mounting the solar panel. Here we have the camera itself. It's a very nice camera. Like I said, I have one of these in the backyard. It's not the 4G. Here's the solar panel. These are easy to put up, easy to download the app. We have some hardware here. The uh, other one I have from this company that is very similar to this one. Uh, I reviewed it a couple months ago. I have not had to charge the battery once because the solar, it has enough sun, it charges it through the day, it has enough battery power to get me through the night. I've never had an issue with it. Here's all the hardware and stuff you will need to install this camera. Like I said, very simple. The app works great. I've not had any problems with the app. There's a mount here. This is the mount for your solar panel. And this is your USB-C charging cable. We have some screws with some anchors in case you have to go through drywall or uh, concrete or stucco. And this one has a card right there that you will put into the unit. And again, this is for the solar panel. Same way with hardware. Um, it is very adjustable to find the right sunlight for your application. Now this camera is going to be going on the left front corner of the house so I can see down the side of the house, I can see over and towards the woods, I can see the street, the truck, SUV, the whole front yard. So that's where this one's going to go. Now I'm using my own screws on this one because I'm just going into wood. Your application may vary. Now we're going to get the camera and pop it in here. There's a picture of an unlock and a lock on here. You'll just put it up on here, turn it about an eighth of a turn till it clicks, and you're good to go. It will not fall off. There's an also an arrow here to line up with the picture of the locks. That's all there is to that. Make sure you're going to be able to get Wi-Fi out here to your camera or Wi-Fi. It's just on the other side of this room here. It should be fine. The other one is clear at the other end of the house. It picks up the Wi-Fi just fine. Now we're going to install the solar panel. Now we're going to mount the solar panel the same way we mounted the camera. Now as you can see, we have our camera mounted. I just ran the cord right up underneath the drip edge. And this is where the solar panel is going to be. When the sun sets, it sets right over there. And it will shine right on our solar panel just perfectly. I like to go with the full amount of sun in the afternoon time. 
That way it gives the ultimate charging for the camera itself rather than in the morning. So that way the last hours of the daytime, the sun you can't see now because it's clouds, but the sun will be shining on that, charging it for the nighttime. So the good thing about this camera being 4G is you don't need Wi-Fi. You can take this thing, put it in a barn, you can take it camping, put it out in the woods, because it has the SIM card. With the SIM card, it supports Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T. And they're offering a seven day free unlimited trial plan, renewable after seven days. And you can get that through the app. It's $12.99 per month for unlimited. Let's turn it on, we'll power it up, and we'll see how it works. Right up underneath there is where you plug in your solar panel or if you need to charge it you can plug a charging bank in there and let it charge now up under here is your power button it's labeled right here so our power button is right there and I'm gonna push the power button sorry my tripod will not come up this far so I'm just going to use this to power it on okay so I powered on the camera we should have a light and we do it's waiting to pair so what we're going to do I'm going to turn my phone on we're going to open the app now if you don't have the app already you can just scan the QR code and connecting please wait and all you have to do is set up an account it's just like anything else that you will set up like this so we're going to hit the plus button that is the camera that's in the backyard. We're going to hit the plus button. We're going to hit add device. Okay. Now, it says allow location. Turn on system Bluetooth. Connection successful. Waiting for app to add. Okay. I'm just allowing the Bluetooth here. It has connected to the Wi-Fi. So we're looking at 4G cameras here. And we need to find our camera, which will be this one here. Waiting for app to add. Okay, now there'll be a couple Waiting steps you go through to, to get to this. You will get to this as long as you have a blue blinking light there. Now we're going to hold this in front of the camera so it can read it. Okay, now it read it. We're going to hit next. Connecting. Please wait a and it has connected already okay so let me get down off this ladder and let me close that lid back up and we'll see how well this thing works now as you can see now as you can see now as you can see now, you okay i'm too close to it but we have a strong signal 4g and there's us let's get down off the ladder ladder our signal strength is great there we are now let's walk around and then i'll show you some footage of what this will do and i'll show you some nighttime footage okay guys so we're screen recording okay, guys. so we're screen so now recording. let me turn this down because the camera now, is picking me up because... okay so here we are we're waving at the camera now i can hit this button here and it'll bring up this to where I can turn the camera with this. I can look down. I can look up. Now I don't have to use this if I don't want to. I can just swipe the screen. I'm just swiping the screen and it will go a little bit at a time or a lot depending on how fast or slow you swipe the screen so I can swipe up and I can swipe down or I can swipe really fast and just make it go a little bit so that is pretty cool 
Now, as you can see, we're spinning around. We're looking down the side of the house. That's the left side of the house. Now we're going to go back around the other direction. You can see the boat and the cars. There's the old truck, the ladder we were just on. And that right there that you see in the middle of the screen, that is just the antenna that I put down on the camera. So what I'll do is I'll move that antenna, which I can do right now with my tripod. There we go. Now that's out of the way. So we can see if there's any wildlife and we can keep spinning around now that wire you see right there is the power wire for the solar panel and here you can go to auto you can go to standard definition or you can go to quality high definition and that's what I keep all mine on um, here's your settings right down here in the right hand corner there's all my settings you can set up your alerts whether you wanted to pick up humans only humans or packages cars animals things of that na nature you do all that there and again you have all these other settings here now if I make a big screen of course since I'm on my phone it'll look like that but if I turn my phone you know it's fine but there we go but on the video that you're going to see since I'm screen recording it won't look that great so let's bring this up and let's turn this back around oops got to go the other way and it is kind of smooth for one of these cameras it's very smooth and for the price it's awesome so what we're going to do now is we're going to wait on it to get dark and once it gets dark we're going to see how well the night vision works and we're going to try out the alarm and the light which all that is in your settings right here alert settings right there you can adjust your sensitivity your motion detection um, there's your custom mode you can uh, set it in performance mode which if you click on that it tells you exactly what each mode does uh, I've got it set on 30 seconds at alarm interval every two minutes there's your alert plan you can set up a time period of when you want it to alert say midnight to 5 a.m. it'll only pick up and give you alert messages at those times as you can see I don't have one of those set up you can set up your humanoid area which if you only want it to pick up in a certain area it'll only pick up movement in that area but I'm not going to set that so um, here you can have audio warning and strobe light you can have just the audio warning you can have just the white light warning if you don't want the alarm going off or you can have both there's your volume adjustment so let's just go with white light warning right now and then when it gets dark like I said we will come back out here and we're going to see how well it picks us up that's your work indicator light right here what that is is a little blue light that comes on on the camera so you know it's working so it doesn't matter whether it's on or off that's just up to you it's just a matter of preference I did name this camera front yard and the other camera backyard so there's your tips gives you little tips and again you can you can record right now what you're doing you can take a snapshot if we wanted to take a snapshot we would just hit that down in that left hand corner there's our snapshot 
if we click on it there's the picture we just took then you have history which will give you right up here there's some history that when it picked me up earlier I was messing around with the camera so yes yeah, it's, it's very nice we'll go back on to the front yard where we're at right now and there we are we're back and there you can um, turn the light on manually if you want um, I won't be able to show you that till later tonight but the light is on and there it is off there's the siren I don't know if this is picking it up but we'll go over that again tonight up in the left hand corner by the time on my phone those two square dots are from picking us up you received an alarm message from front yard and again device front yard has detected a human and this is my screen recorder right here so very nice so let's wait on it to get dark maybe there won't be so much traffic and so much wind noise and we'll see how well the night vision does okay guys so here's what the camera looks like at night I have the porch light off this light over here that you see is from the other IR light on the other security cameras so let's go out here and let's see if it will pick us up and if it does a light should come on okay, as you can see it's really dark and there it is it picked us up immediately and as you can see how bright it is in the camera so that's pretty good I like that it's a very very good product the app is very good very easy to use installation is a breeze so there it is um, so what I'll do here right now is I'll show you we can turn the light off here which it went off now if we hit the light button you should see that come on and there it came on and also we have the siren mode here's the siren mode very nice and as you can see up there in the corner those square icons are for the alerts where it picked us up it's letting me know someone's out in the front yard which happens to be us so I want to thank the company for sending me the camera to try out I appreciate it and I do highly recommend it thank you for watching everyone and have a great day.